This is a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting any customers today, given the unpleasantness outside. Are you Louis Galois? I am. If this is a referral, may I ask which of my customers was impressed enough to recommend me? Tibor Sokol. Ah, poor Tibor. But how may I be of service? Let's talk about the Diwali crime family. Who are they? They're the people running organized crime in Prague. Their second in command is a man named Otar Botkavelli. Heard of him? No. I'm sorry, I haven't. Well, that's too bad. I was hoping you could tell me why he wants me to kill you. Shit! He wants me dead? Drunk son of a bitch! Sounds like you're starting to remember him now. Yeah, yeah, Otar. He just slipped my mind for a moment. That's not the only thing slipping. Fine, smart guy. I work for Otar's boss, the head of the Dwali family, Radic Nikolazzi. I spy on Otar's activities for Radic. Shit, I just realized the other Pachyan, Konstantin, he died in the train station bombing. You're thinking Otar wants to get the second spy, you, out of the way and make a move against Radic. I'm sure he'd love that. Those two have had their own private Cold War going on for years. But still, getting rid of me and Constantine wouldn't be enough. Otar needs to gather more support in Prague and in Georgia. But he could do it. The only thing keeping him from consolidating his power is... Well, me? But you're not really planning to kill me, are you? No, I draw the line at assassination for would-be mob bosses. Thank you. Thank you. What can I do to repay you? Name it. Anything. Vaclav Kohler. What's his connection to Radic? Wait, I can't tell you that. Radic will kill me. You said anything. Unless you'd prefer the alternative. Damn it. Okay. Radic, Kohler, and I have a trilateral arrangement. Radic has an augmented leg. You just became the fifth living person to know that. So, I get Radic his neuropazine, and Kohler maintains his leg. In return, Radic looks out for us. He's not doing a great job of that. You're lucky Otar sent me instead of somebody else. He won't stop with you either. I'd better get out of the country until this blows over. And I'll guess I'll have to retire the Louis Galois persona. Oh well, I had fun playing him. Next time, try it with a French accent. Might be more credible. One more thing. Tibor said you can get me into Ark territory without worrying about any guards. He's right. I'll unlock the security door at the back of this room. Beyond that, there's a ladder that'll take you where you want to go. All right, thanks. Is there any other way I can be of service? Perhaps you'd like to make a purchase and contribute to the Louis Galois escape fund. Let's see what you've got for sale. These are all the goods I have available.
Nothing interests you? I'll be on my way for now. As you wish. But I hope to see you again. Machiavelli, it's Jensen. Your problem in the Udalek complex has been taken care of. Good. I look forward to hearing the details. But that will have to wait, because I have other urgent matters keeping me busy at the moment. I will call you back shortly. Uh, I've been behind the desk too long. On street, second floor. Check it out. Mr. Jensen, it is not our bot, Covelli. I have another delicate matter that requires your expertise. I thought we were even, Otar. We will be even when I say so, my friend. Now then, do business. You will meet Mrs. Kadlek, the owner of the Red Queen. I understand she has a problem, a problem named Dominique. Let's get this straight. I'm not a cleaner for the Diwalis. Why don't you send one of your own? Why? Because I am telling you to do it. I don't mention killing. Just meet with Kadlek and mind your manners. She's a powerful woman. She put the place here. Dominic, does he come to his senses? No, Mrs. Kadlek. Master Kadlek, I am the owner of the Red Queen. I make a point of knowing everything important, but you? You, I do not know. Could be I'm not important. Oh, please. Have you seen yourself in a mirror lately? Besides, I have a healthy curiosity. It is important to a mother. Mom wouldn't be thrilled about me being in a place like this. Really? I can't imagine why. A good time never hurt anyone. I don't think the clients are the ones in danger of getting hurt. You're suggesting my workers aren't safe? But you don't know that. You don't know anything about my club or how I run it. I know these kinds of places breed violence. Doesn't matter where it is, Eastern Europe or Hensha. It's all the same. The Red Queen is a family business. My eldest son works the bar. The other does security upstairs. Come in on the weekend and you'll meet one of my nieces, Agnieszka. She's the late show. You see around here, nothing comes before family. I understand your family is very important to you. Does that include a kid named Dominic? Ah, I didn't think you were here for the scenery. I'm here to repay a favor. This club is my confession. People stop by, whisper in my ear. Sometimes I forgive. Sometimes not. Lately, I hear one of the Diwali men wants to reconcile with me. How old-fashioned of him. He helps you out, you help him out. I take it Dominic's causing some kind of trouble. Dominic has made bad choices for himself and for his family. We have tradition to consider. So I ask you, what is the best way to get a hot-headed young man out from where he does not belong? You say he's a man. You treat him like a man. Let him find his own way out. No. Left to his own limited ability, Dominic will get himself shot, or stabbed, or drowned in his own piss. And what did you have in mind? My hands are bound by politics. You, I think, have the look of someone used to working around political matters. Perhaps you could kidnap Dominic. I want to understand this better. What makes Dominic your... our problem? Sometimes the Valley operations need sharp young toughs who can wave a gun, and sometimes they need men who can look good in a suit and make allegiances. 
So which type is he? I made an arrangement for Dominic. I found him a woman, found him a place, away from all this, where he was useful to the family. But he thinks he knows better. He thinks like Radich, Nicolas. He's a runaway groom. You wanted to marry him off, he wants to sit at the kingpin's table. And this costs you, doesn't it? You're very perceptive. Dominic is disposable to Radich, but to me, he can bring a more capable wife into the fold. My fold. Alright, where's Dominic now? What do you want me to do? They call it Hotel Narikala. An old Georgian joke. One of Radich's safe houses. Dominic knows we cannot interrupt Radich's hospitality. And that's where I come in. It's heavily guarded, I assume. Mm -hmm. And surveillance systems, alarms. This is the boy. So I sneak into this building, find Dominic, tell him he's expected back home. No. You get in, you incapacitate Dominic. You bring him out and leave him in a cozy storage locker. No one can see any of this happen. You want me to knock this guy out and drag him through a building full of Radish's men, undetected? You're kidding, right? Where I am from, abduction of the bride was a time-honored custom. So you think of this as an act for equality. You'll know Dominic by his tattoo. Do not bring me the wrong man. Too young. Almost 60. Bastard. Okay, forget I said anything. I didn't realize you don't yet. Some guys are for doing the shooting, and some are for getting shot.
This program initiated. Access granted.
initiated. Access granted. Granted.
nothing to worry about on my end, Bratishka. Orders are orders. Yeah. Can't wait to leave this fucking city. Discovered. No problem. You have time to start the fucking laundry. <sighs> Wonder if there is anything going on in the theater tonight. Dominic, can you talk? You're serious? Someone took out Golwa? I told you, I told you!
Cadillac. I delivered your boy Dominic. No one saw me go in or out. Impressive. How is he? He's still out cold. Might want to ease off on the bright lights when he comes around. I'll keep that in mind. We do want him to be as attentive as possible. I think this concludes our business tonight. Thank <laughs> you.